hi guys welcome back welcome back to my channel um thank you to everyone that have been subscribing uh, i think po the past week we actually celebrated 200 subscribers <laughs> Um, and thank you to everyone that keeps on supporting my channel. Um, I'm just super super excited So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my attitude in high school How it affected my performance my decisions and my career that Please excuse the lighting. I'm, I'm actually finding it difficult to find the perfect spot uh, <laughs> But I have to do this video. Um, I have to give it to you guys so anyway, starting about my high school, oh, it was Monate Twa. <laughs> it was Monate Twa. That's how I would describe it. I mean, everything just suddenly made <clears throat> so much sense in in high school. Um, like first day at school, it was like, oh my God, you have gorgeous eyes. And like in, in seventh day, I was like, what the hell is wrong with your eyes? So it was a different environment altogether. So that thing just hyped me up. Like I was confident, my self-esteem just got boosted. I, I, be, I became someone very different. I started appreciating myself. Like, oh my God, OMG. So <laughs> my eyes actually made like, you know, something bad that I didn't appreciate. Uh, later on became something that that just changed my life, you know, and I really want to thank Everyone everyone who played a role to actually say those perfect words to me uh, That changed my life altogether. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It has built me like having self Confidence just opens everything up for you. You know, I was able to to do a lot of things that I never thought I would be able to do so let's get to how my attitude was like academic wise um i still had a problem like i the same attitude that i had in primary i carried carried it out through to high school like i still didn't like english and i figured out at the uh, at uh, in the middle of my my high school that i didn't even like history so maybe it was a matter of maybe the language maybe theory as a whole maybe i just had a problem with literature um whatever that just needed me to read books uh you know because i remember like the hoisan the i just didn't like those things and guys i i ended up not performing at all on on history and in, and in english um I remember this one time uh, in my history class, my 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 teacher explained everything. I ah, no no. So the Khoisan did this and did that, whatever. So maybe I was daydreaming. I don't know, but I think I was not daydreaming. And then she was like, "Any questions?" And then I raised my hand. Yes, ma'am. I did not understand a thing. And she's like, "Kyokai mo sabisisim. Why don't you understand?" And I couldn't even pick out where exactly don't I understand and for some reason for that comment that she made I was like I'm never gonna ask any question in here like I don't want to embarrass myself in front of students so actually what I've learned from this is sometimes um, our teachers can just um, maybe embarrass us in front of students and they're not aware that this can actually um, impact on us negatively in that you'll be like no, I don't want for this incident to happen again, you know, like I can't cope or bear with the consequences of being embarrassed in front of, of the whole class. So I, d I felt so stupid, like, okay, I just said I don't understand anything and I couldn't pinpoint what exactly don't I understand. Probably I had a problem with, with my cognitive ability. Um, it's not the teacher who had a problem, but sometimes a student may not do well because of maybe the attitude they have towards a, a, a teacher because I ended up having negative um, attitude towards my history teacher. Every time when it was history, I was like, oh my God, not again, not again. What are we gonna study? The Bantu speakers, whatever. Guys, I, I, I just didn't like that. And how did that affect my performance? I did not perform well. My attitude just let me down. I did not perform well. I became the worst when it came to history. I became the worst when it came to English. Um, 
Not that I got like less than 50s. I'm sure I was getting like Boma 60. In history, I'm sure I was getting like 50s. In in English, I was getting Boma, Boma 60. And this, honestly, it just brought me to where I am today, you know? Where I'm like, I wanted nothing to do with English. I was sure I don't want to be a lawyer because I had this perception I had this perception that in order for you to be a lawyer you need to be perfect in in English. So how did um how did my attitude towards English and history affect my decisions at the end of the day? What ha actually happened was at grade 11 um you actually choose um subjects you would have to choose between geography and history uh and you would have to choose between English literature and accounting. Boom. I, it limited my choices. Like, I was sure that I'm not going to do English literature. I'm going to do accounting. And again, the other thing that I wanted, why I wanted to do accounting, it's because, obviously, I, I loved it. You know, I just had positive attitude towards it. And my mom was an accountant. So the careers that we actually choose in life, they are actually influenced but by what our parents um, pursue, what our parents are in life. Most of the time, just have a look at um, when you ask your child what they want to be when they grow up. Sometimes the whatever they want to be, it's actually uh, influenced by the fact that their parents, their accountants, or their minors, or whatever. But I, 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 I was mixed between uh, two careers. I wanted to be an accountant because my mom was an accountant. I also wanted to be a minor because my dad worked at a mine. So whichever, it, it just worked for me. And also, how did my attitude actually, um, how it actually affected my decisions is I had an opportunity to be an English club member at school. I, I did not like that club. I actually attended that club because my friends would go there. Nekisa Mahad, you know? Um, and I, I know I was not in it for, for love. I was in it for, for social reasons, you know? So that's how it actually, um, affected my decisions and like I said in, for my performance I was just an average average student so it doesn't really end there like <laughs> English actually um, the fact that I did not like it um, it also limited my career like in form 5 I I did not do well in English um, I remember I had like aggregate 19 I got seven in English, and that led me to having second class. I did so well in all other subjects, but uh, I got second class, and honestly, and I, I couldn't live with myself. I remember the day when the results were out, and my friends had passed. They got like first classes. Some were like, like top whatever. Yo, I, I was just like, that was the final thing with me in English. I was like, this thing just doesn't love me um, because I don't love it back, you know? And how did it affect my career? Because I had like a, a D, it's a seven, I think it's an, or an E. I was restricted. I was like, I had my, my choices in what I could do in varsity were limited. But thank God, I actually wanted to be a geologist you know so i had to start with bsc uh general so with bsc it didn't really matter um for english like the minimum requirement was for you to have like a seven so i was safe but at the, if i wanted to do a um like maybe what's this um uh, economics i i had to like supplement it and i know i had the opportunity to actually have to go and supplement it, but I just didn't because I was like, I'm not gonna do it. I, 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 I'll have to work hard for me to, to actually qualify um, in BSc and pursue whatever, like be a geologist. Yeah, guys, um, I'm just saying, all I'm just saying is we need to change our attitudes. If you don't have any idea how the damage um, your attitude can, can bring, to your career, to your families, to your friends, friendships, go away. It's, 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 it's so bad. It's so bad. You need to change to work on your attitude. Your attitude is just 
your feelings about something, you know, uh, how you feel about something. Um, it can either be good or bad, so as you all know, but so that negative attitude towards whatever, please let's just work on that. Um, as you heard from my story, it didn't, it didn't work for me. So with Matt and Sesotho, I think I was lucky enough to still have um, carried the positive attitude with me um, in, in high school. Ganeta, I did very well in those subjects. Um, it, it, you know, the positive attitude that I had, it actually um, played a huge role in my career, in my performance, because it, the fact that I passed maths, I was able to go in through uh, varsity and do BSc. Um, and I, I, I'm really, really thankful. I'm really thankful for also my teacher that actually gave us so much support. I, and I have such a positive um, attitude towards my teacher. Another thing, una shapa ha hole. So, but like, um, maybe it's one of the things that actually um, activates or uh, initiate uh, my, 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 my performance as a whole. So, I, I'm glad she did that, but I, I did not get a weep like all the time, honestly, because no, I did very well. And it's not because I was intelligent. I'm not intelligent. That oh, that's one thing people should know. I'm not intelligent. I'm just a hard worker. Like I work so hard because I know I'm not intelligent. Friendships in high school. This is one of the things that actually helped me to get away with a lot of things. It's it's something that I honestly want to tell my friends uh, in in high school. They made my life so easy. My mom would always say, <laughs> My mom, yo, yo, yo. She'd always say, And I did exactly that. Uh, I was friends with a lot of intelligent uh, people. And when they, they opened their books, it was like it's time for you to open your book you know so i i started like learning more oh okay for me to pass this is exactly what i have to do these are the principles i have to apply for me to be able to to perform well in in, in school so i did exactly that would go but like um the fields um or whatever and one other thing is i was such an average uh average um person like life wise um my 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 friends they had i think they had a lot of money or they had enough money it was a lot according to me because in in form one i was given um form b two bucks in form c i was given five bucks and it has been five bucks till i was in form five and i never felt like i don't have money i never felt like um my friends are way better than me. Like, they just accommodated me everywhere. So, I think that thing where you get to 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 find yourself and there's companionship, you know. Friendships are very important in high school because sometimes they could be the reason why you're not achieving some of the things. Because you're being easily influenced. And trust me, friendships can be toxic sometimes, you know. I know. I have been in toxic friendships and now i can be able to differentiate what is toxic and what is not toxic for me but then i i honestly appreciate my the kind of friends i had um in high school and i think that's when my friendship with peanut those who know her my best friend uh started to be to be strong we were the girls uh that were average and our, the friends that were surrounding us, they were so intelligent. But we, we, we managed, you know, we managed to be such good people. We managed to be okay, like good, extremely good academically. And we're doing, we're doing well. And I'm learning so much from her, you know. So when I mean friendships, I mean I never felt like there was a time I needed to ask my, my grandmom for like 20 bucks to go to school. I felt okay like I, I would save I was given five bucks like I said I was given five bucks and I would save like 25 rand for the week and you know but at the same time I was like if I don't save 25 bucks I won't be able to to like eat chips at the at one weekend I won't be able to like um, have more like ice guava you know on after school 
so I, I literally saved for me to be able to wear the clothes that I liked. I, I used to lay by clothes. Like my my life was just it made so much sense and that's what we need in life for you for your life to make sense and you don't need money for your life to make sense. You need friends, you need family, you need companionship, you need healthy relationships. It's 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 amazing how how nothing that's not money can actually change your life. Because unfortunately money is a it's a short term motivator. Like today you'll be given 50 bucks and you'll be like all oh, happy, yay, I got a lot of money. But trust me, tomorrow it will be all gone. But with friends, friends that are there to stay, family, family is there to stay. If you understand that, okay, someone has flaws, we need to like mend them up, you know, we need to understand one another. So yeah, basically uh, friendship for me was one of the things that actually made my life so easy in high school, that actually made my, my academics to be like good uh <laughs> one incident though that i nearly forgot in in form a guys in form a so in the high school we had like form a's like grade a's eight grade eight so we're about five so there was like around like 250 uh students um uh, uh in for form a and we had like june exams okay and when we came back from our June holidays, obviously we have our results. And people are talking about their results. Hey! hey. And there was one girl, uh, I remember her. She was uh, position one. Guys, do you know what position I was? <laughs> I'm sure I was like position 400. And when people were asking me, I was like, no, 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 I was in 20 something. Because I I just felt like there's no way. How did I why did I get a position hundred? Like would like is there such a thing? Like I was so traumatized by by my performance. And then I I actually decided that's when I decided no I'm gonna take my mom's advice I'm gonna be with people that work very very hard this is not the way to go I cannot be position hundred and from that time I did so well I I did so well so it, it, that just told me that you know sometimes we just lie we lie about our lives we we lie about our our academic our academics we we lie about almost everything for us to just fit fit in in this world to fit in this environment to fit into our friendships to fit wherever and you don't understand what damage you're gonna do on yourself when you lie like there's always a time when those lies are gonna catch up with you you know so for those lies not to catch up with me i had to work really hard not to be position 100 and something and Ganita, i did very well and i honestly don't regret the fact that I got a second class in form five. I think everything happens for a reason. Maybe had I gotten uh, like a first class, I would have been comfortable, and then life would be like, oh, give a you know. I'll, I'll show you how comfortable I got in varsity, and yo, I, I, Corey, I, so I think that's it about friendships um, in high school and how it actually affected my my performance, you know. One other thing, guys, you need to dream. You need to dream big. Like, I um, I was one of these girls, that I loved fashion so much. I loved looking so good. I loved, you know, but I didn't, I couldn't afford clothes. I, I, I know I, I couldn't afford um, your Billabong. Billabong and Roxy at that time were the in thing. My school bag, it wasn't a label, it was it Kore. So Nikitihala those things, you know, like I'll be like, oh my god, one day if I would be able to like have like a Roxy top, have like a billabong top, I know I would have made it in life. And dreaming big just makes you realize okay, I need to work hard. So that's how um my energy and my energy for my book actually um, initialized. Um me loving such good things having good things in life i knew i had to work hard for me to achieve those things so yeah i ended up having like persistence for my for my academics um i ended up um 
having uh, positive people around me L one other thing we, we we are not we are not the same we're not all the same um your cognitive ability can be different from the other person emong needs to uh, put extra effort the other one doesn't have to put extra effort i'll make an example um a friend of mine mantai mantai would read a novel will be writing a test tomorrow she'll read a novel the whole day the previous day while we're going through our notes in the morning she's still reading a novel and i'm like this girl when did you study when we get our results she's amongst the top people and <laughs> i was just like oh, wow god so like i'm saying you, you, you we all have cognitive abilities they differ and you need to understand okay if this is where you stand this is where you stand with a certain subject this is where you stand with another subject you need to know where you stand for you to be able to know why how much effort you need to apply you know you, we are not the same and our gears are all different someone needs to apply gear five someone is at gear one your gear one your gear three your neutral you need to know what your gear is so i think that's my message in terms of the um the attitude uh that you need to apply even in everyday life um i know this is about my experience at school but i think even in everyday life let's breathe positive attitude negative attitude yo guys i, I yo i i think my 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 the person that i learned a lot about this is from my husband like we actually talk about this i think every now and then so guys um i'm just gonna bring um episode three of my video because the sun is going down i don't want to um bombard you with a video that has uh poor quality of light so i'm gonna do um episode three of my experience in varsity uh, it's just a continuation of this but otherwise thank you thank you so much i hope everything that i talked about it it made sense and i hope some of you will relate share your experiences i think when we're reading through those comments um i'm able to see that okay i was not the only person who struggled so yeah guys so please don't forget to subscribe to like and comment put your comments um we'll discuss whatever issues that you had in high school and how our siblings can actually learn from our experiences i think they need to watch uh videos like this um they need to we need to have interviews like just for them to learn how how they can tackle you know like school you know some people are are not coping very well with it and can need to, we need to understand that there's no time for laughter we don't laugh like in trust have our tool it's can guys we, we, we you never know tables turn honestly tables they do turn otherwise thank you so much for watching my channel please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed don't forget to like comment and also yeah like please share